Alright guys, well unfortunately we did not get anything good, but there is our 100th Barrows chest. So, so far we have, I think, 9 Barrows items in 100 chests. I think the further we go, it'll kind of even out as far as the drop rate goes, but at the moment, I'm almost getting a Barrows item every 10 chests, which is ridiculous. Currently working on our task of trolls, just got 67 attack as well as 1300 total level, nice. Well, last episode I completed my Slayer Helm grind, and on this episode I'm going to begin and hopefully finish the grind that most RuneScape players absolutely despise. On this episode, I would like to get full void range. Now in the future I need to get all the void pieces, but for now I just want to get the range set, because, well, <laughs> and when I train range, all I have is green dehyde, which is disgusting, so I know at a certain level it becomes better to use void, and if you're below that level, it's actually beneficial to wear dehyde. However, if we're talking about green dehyde here, I'm pretty sure void is always better, so... Alright guys, today we're gonna start pass control. Wish me luck. The blue collar? Wait, wait, hold up. White collar is like a business dude and blue... Okay, anyway, we just got 68 attack. Good stuff, you're a wannabe mammal. You are way too ugly. I'm just kidding. I, I didn't mean that. Okay, there we go guys. With that game completed, we now have 252 void points. That took me about three and a half hours, so that's not terrible, but let's go exchange. Go ahead and get our void top. I always buy the most expensive stuff first. I mean, mentally for me, if you buy the expensive stuff first, it makes it easier to like grind out the cheaper stuff later because you know you've done the worst already, so there we go. There is our first void piece purchased. There is the void night top. Swordfish. Not a drop that I really need. It's not a drop that I want, but it's the drop that I need. Kill number nine of the trip. Hurry up before I dare. Oh my god, hurry up. <gasps> oh, a clue scroll. Nice. Oh, wait, we have bass. Uh, should I risk it for the biscuit? We could try. I, c I can hold on to the bass and we can go for another kill. That'd be nuts. Alright, this is getting a bit heated. I currently have 25 hit points. Uh, I really, really want this song. Not this song, this kill. No! I really should teleport, shouldn't I? I really should. I should really teleport right now. I really, really should teleport right now. Please die. Come on! No, I don't want that. Oh. Woo, we risked it. We didn't get the biscuit, but we risked it anyway. Props for that. Anyway, time for hard clue scroll. So, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Uh, a lot of you been telling me to get blue dehyde chaps from eclectic implings. Just so you know, um, at the moment my jar generator is out of charges. And the process of making jars, you need some really stupid items. So, I might put this in the bank and do this off stream or something like that. Which is what I think I'll do. But, that that's an explanation for last episode as to why I kept dropping it. I'll probably keep this one and try and actually finally get the chaps. Yeah, I'm pissed. So, I ran out of super anti-poisons, and I figured I would grab a regular anti-poison as well while I was at it. Oh my god. I grabbed a fucking defense potion, and... <sighs> hey, there we go, guys. Just hit 250 void points for the second time. That means we can now go by the void knight bottom. So that is two out of the four pieces done, and the nice thing is, is they're the two biggest pieces out of the way, so. Void Knight, Row Bottom, boom, there we go. So if I exchange really quickly, um, I still need to buy the Range Helm and the Gloves, which is a total of 350 points. That's kind of cool to think. It's only 100 points more to get the last two pieces than it was to buy a piece, so. Like I said, that's, that's why I said before, I buy the expensive stuff first, but anyways, guys. What I'm going to do right now, um, obviously you get a lot of coins from Pest Control, so if you take a look at my cash stack, I actually have almost 300k. What I'm going to do is go to the uh, Champions Guild and buy myself a Dragon Battle Axe. A Dragon Battle Axe is great for Slayer, saves a lot on potions, so I will be right back and go buy myself a Dragon Battle Axe. Dragon Battle Axe currently costs 200,000 coins. God damn, is that expensive, but again, it's a good investment for the future. Um, I can easily make myself restore potions and super attacks. 
So we basically have a free super strength potion that is unlimited right here. So good purchase, but guys, obviously, you know, we got two levels left to go. Sorry, two pieces left to go. Uh, one more thing quickly, 9k off of 70 attacks. We'll get that in a second, but anyways, back to best control. Well, I accidentally logged out, so you can't see the mess in the chat box, but we did just get 70 attack as well as 87 combat. So we're now level 70 in all of our combat stats. Uh, I think at this point it's smart to start focusing on strength more, but anyways, guys, we currently have, let me cross over, uh, 31 points, so we're on our way to the, uh, the melee home. 202 points, that to me sounds like another void piece in the books. I'm starting to detest this mini game. I just, I don't understand pest control. I realize there's a lot of bots, and the bots would make it hard because they don't kill spinners and stuff. But I think the worst part is like, I'm gonna show this in the chat right now, this guy, uh, Hurry Facts. There's always like those 14 year olds that like just got yelled at by their mom, so they come on RuneScape and call everybody else in pest control fucking retards and like. Oh my god, calling people idiots is not going to be them kill spinners. I, I just, oh, that's the worst part of pest control. People always scream at other people. It's like, you're not helping anything. Anyway, give me my damn range helm. Let's get those gloves and get out of here. Oh, thank god. Okay, so I just made myself an impling jar. Now with this, I can get myself more impling jars. Then I can get a new jar generator so I can get myself eclectic implings, which will give me blue dehyde chaps. I know. Should have done this sooner, just didn't want to, but okay. Let's go finally get those blue DI chaps so I can stop dropping that clue scroll. Um, okay. I've pretty much been here for two minutes. And I got them. <laughs> Why I didn't do this before, I don't know. I mean, I feel like such an idiot now. Okay, well, there's the blue DI chaps. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. I had like a build up and I was like, we're getting the blue DI chaps tonight and then like a minute later, there we go. So my struggles never truly end. Um, in order to actually get into the fishing guild, I need to get up to 68 fishing. Now, somebody told me there is an Admiral Pie spawn up in here, but somebody said it's actually a red berry pie and it's a red berry pie. Go to hell. Okay, so now my chat told me that this dude sells Admiral Pies in here, so I hunted down a chef's hat. And it's not in stock. <clears throat> Fuck! Okay, now we have 65 fishing. I'm gonna make a fishing potion and we can finally do our clue scroll, I think. The third age spot, this could be the reward, oh yes. Alright. Was my all that work for the dehyde chaps and whatnot worth it? No. <laughs> no, it was not. Well, at least we can get more clues in the future now, but that's a decent elk and those will come in handy someday. But why these? I don't want my. Ugh. Damn it. Here it comes, boys. The final game of pest control. <laughs> I am so excited right now. I can already see the comments. Yo, Mammal, why did the video take so long? This right here, pest control is slow as balls. But my friends, you're finally about to buy the last piece. Uh, as you guys saw, I did buy the range helm. I suppose in the future I'll probably get the rest of the sets, but for now, by god, this is plenty. So, let's head to the bank. Um, I'm currently 61 range. The reason why I wanted to prioritize getting this is because I am going to start training range soon. I don't really think we're that far off of going for a fire cape as far as like stats wise go. So, this is going to come in very, very handy while training range. Oh my god, I am so happy, guys. Well, now that we have full void, I was taking a look at my achievement diaries, and I realized we really have not done any of them. So I think one goal we're going to set right now is to do at least all of the easy diaries. So let's do all the easies, and then after that, I suppose we can kind of analyze what we're going to need to do all the mediums. Because I don't think I can do all of them, but anyways, let's, uh... Let's do some achievement diaries, and we'll get a lot. Of, I won't get a lot of XP lamps for the easies, but hey, man, free Herbal Lord XP is always good. Got myself some ugly ass green gloves. There's nothing I appreciate more than a nice tiara on a bald melon. Thanks for the nice round shield, homeboy. All right, there is uh, the Falador done as well. These take longer than I remember. I think this might be the first time I've ever seen a pair of granite plate legs used like effectively. Like, look at this. He looks swagged out right now. Excuse me for the use of the word swag, but... I mean, look at the guy. 
XP layup from the Fremnic Diaries just got me 55 for a blow, which is kind of a big deal because I can now make super strength potions. I mean, now that I have a dragon battle axe, it's not that useful, but still a milestone. So I now have the Explorer's Ring, so there is the Lumbridge done as well. Uh, I just found out I can't do the Mauritania Diaries. It's so crazy, I can't even do all of the easies yet, but uh, you need to make a Scarecrow, and a Scarecrow requires a Watermelon, which I can't grow yet, so... How to train some farming, come back to that later, so I guess only two left to go then. God damn it! <laughs> Are you. Oh. Uh, okay, that person ran up to me, and then TB'd me, and then ran away. Little did they know I'm actually risking a glory and some stuff. <laughs> nice. Well, there you have it, guys. I have now completed all of the easy diaries other than Mauritania. Um, I'm going to look to do the uh, the medium Lumbridge one soon because the medium ring is actually kind of useful. At the moment, I just wear a dueling ring everywhere, whereas the, uh, the Lumbridge ring gives you a small prayer bonus. So I might look into that. But, yeah, that's nice. I mean, at least we got our foot in the door. I mean, achievement diaries take a really long time. So it's better to, like, chip away at them than try and do them all at once. But anyways, guys... There's all the achievement diaries done. I'm not sure what I'm going to move on to next, so uh, I'll let you guys know. So I took a look at my quest list, and I realized I still haven't done Lunar Diplomacy, and that's probably a pretty good thing to start working towards. Uh, first of all, I need 60 mining. To do that, I'll obviously go to living... <laughs> not living rock caverns, never mind, sorry. I mean, uh... Oh, what's it called? The place where you mine the things, and you put the ore in the little water, and... Well, I, I seriously can't think of it, but uh, we'll get 60 mining from that, work on the uh, the full set that I'll need for a Falador Diary, and 61 crafting. Now, 61 crafting is going to be disgusting. I am not looking forward to that at all. I think I still have to make glass stuff, unless I can start making staves or, yeah, not really. Ugh, whatever. Anyways, um, next I'm probably going to start doing a little bit of barrows, so I'll be back hopefully with some good rewards. Boom. Good call, man. Good call. Okay, smoke a bong. I don't smoke the Mary Joanna. Why would you? Anyway, chest number one of the day. I love you too, Barrows. I really do. Look at these lagging rewards. Well, there's chest 110. Still nothing yet. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit dry right now. Not terrible. Definitely can't complain yet, but uh, a little bit dry. So, something I want to talk about really quickly, um, I know a lot of you guys probably play Iron Man accounts as well, and a lot of you are probably a little bit farther along than me. I'm currently level 87 combat, I was just curious, when did you guys get to the point where you didn't have to, like, grind out constantly for potions? What I mean is, is, like, every time I want to do Barrows, I have to come to Chaos Druids and try and get potions and stuff. Am, am I, like, high enough level where I should be getting to that point where... I have some of these, like, supplies stocked up, or, I don't know, I just feel like I'm getting to that point where I shouldn't have to do this all the time, but I do, and, I don't know, if you guys are better at Iron Man than me, slash, higher level, let me know on what level you started actually, like, surplusing your supplies, because this right here, I mean, I know it's like, this is what Iron Man's all about, but it gets a little old. No, I don't want the tooth half of a key. <laughs> Well, it's good otherwise, but oh, I don't want that shit. Well, there's chest 115. I'm probably gonna go to uh, 120 this episode, and then we'll call it good. Jugs of water and rings of life in a pitchfork formation? Or is it not a pitchfork? I don't get the... Or is it like a... Wait. <laughs> I'm too stupid for this. What is this What is this supposed to be? I don't understand. Just got level 72 magic here at Barrows. Probably didn't unlock anything, I don't think. No, I didn't. No, I did not. But, uh, there we go. 72 magic. We are well on our way to 75 for the trident, except the, the Slayer level part's gonna take a really long time. Oh my god. What is happening right now? <laughs> this is so... There's more of them! This is unbelievable. They just keep coming! <laughs> what the heck? Zora looks like my girlfriend without any makeup? Oh, shit. Okay, well, here we go. This is going to go really poorly. I have never tried this before, but people are telling me that what I should do is... Uh, no, I already know what to do. People are telling me that I should uh, hide from the blue phase, I guess? I don't know. I guess you can uh, hide behind the, like, the, the pillars for the blue phase, so this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun.
Come on, Ivan's Blast. Keep those big hits rolling. Mage. I think I can. <gasps> no! No, 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 we gotta try again after that. Alright guys, taking a break for some barrows and whatnot right now. We are currently at Dagonoth Rex. I have 10 Dagonoths left to kill. So this trip will end my task. The question is, can I get a ring? There's a Berserker ring, boys. Oh, and the task completed. Perfect timing. And we're outy. Okay, so we're currently at 52 kill count for Rex. No drops yet. Woof the Nice. 154 Blood Velds. Good XP. Obviously pretty gross drops, but good XP. Just got a double rune crossbow drop. I don't need these anymore, but they're decent elks. So, to wrap up the episode, I want to do one thing to kind of start getting myself prepared for a fire cape. At the moment, I'm only 48 prayer, and on my main, I think I had 52 prayer, I want to say. So, what I'm going to do right now is use up these bones I have. I have 50 Dagonoth bones from killing Rex, and I also have some dragon bones that I just got from uh, camping some green dragons. All these combined should get me 52 prayer, which uh, I'm going to say should be good enough for a fire cape. Wow. Okay, so before I've done this, and you had to manually click every single one of these things, and they updated it now, so it just does it all for you. This is amazing. I love you, Jagex. Alright, here it is, the final bone meal. Boom. There is 52 prayer. We can now smite all the bitches, but... I mean, I don't know. The higher prayer, the better when it comes to fire caves, but 52 should be sufficient, and... Obviously, I really don't want to grind out green Jagex more than I need to. So, uh, I guess there is one prerequisite that I wanted to get for Fire Cape done. Next, I need to figure out what I'm going to do for food. I've seen people use baskets of strawberries. Some people use pineapple pizzas. I don't know. I'll worry about that more next episode, but, uh, pretty nice to finally have 52 prayer done, and we are well on our way to getting a Fire Cape. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. We got a lot done on this episode. I finished off the Void grind, which was awful, but I'm glad to have it done. We also completed a lot of the achievement diaries, or at least got started on the easy ones. And we supposedly made a few small gains. We didn't level up a whole lot on this episode, but I got some pretty big combat levels, such as uh, 70 attack, so definitely not bad gains. Uh, as far as the bank value goes, didn't really go up much there either, because we really didn't have any luck. For once, Mr. Hill didn't have much luck, I guess, which is quite alright, <clears throat> which is quite alright. But, thank you all very much again for watching the episode, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button down below. I know you guys have been requesting this series a lot, and I apologize this one took a while to make. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all later.